Hey guys, it's Ben, Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. How the hell are you? Happy Friday to you, man. I hope you guys have been making money this week because we sure have. This time last year, we wouldn't be making this much money in the month of March. Uh, and the only difference that, the only changes that we made uh, this year were uh, getting into the weed and fertilization, the weed control and fertilization uh, part of the business. Uh, we've been wanting to do it for several years. The problem in Oklahoma is there's no like formal training class, right? There's no formal training. You just kind of have to do it on your own here. And for instance, how we got our applicator's license. Uh, we downloaded a book off the internet that they told us to, uh, cost us money. And then after we were done studying that, uh, we sent them $95. They said, come on in and take the test. We took that test, passed that test, can we get our applicator's license? Oh no, it's not that easy in the state of Oklahoma. We make it really tough by making you take another test. So then you pay another $95. You take another test, and if you pass that test, then you can send $100 to the state of Oklahoma and they'll send you an applicator's license. So for 300 bucks and very little training whatsoever, you can get an applicator's license in Oklahoma. I disagree with that. I think that uh, anytime we're dealing with these kind of chemicals that are known to cause the problems that they cause, there should be some formal training involved, right? It shouldn't be as easy as passing a test, sending in your money to get your license. It shouldn't be that easy. Uh, because of that, we're making a lot of mistakes, right? A lot of things that we don't think about, uh, which we should have, a lot of things are common sense. For instance, the safety aspects of safety equipment. People looked us up, they looked up, you know, look, guys, you don't have to go through all this trouble. You can comment on our videos and tell us what we're doing wrong. But we do appreciate you trying not to hurt our feelings and emailing us. We really do appreciate you engaging with us in that way so that we can become better, right? You guys are awesome. Uh, <laughs> the guys that just sat back and laughed and didn't say anything to us, you guys are not awesome. You're not helping the problem any kind of way. Uh, you could have, you could have messaged us and said, hey, you guys are idiots and this is why, this is how you can be better. We appreciate the feedback, right? We don't mind being called the names. We just want to know how to do things better. And if we're making a mistake, you guys that have been watching us for the last five or so years know that we take your input seriously, right? So we got a lot of, uh, well, not a lot. I'd say I got about 10 messages from people uh, alarm, alarmed at our uh, safety uh, <laughs> procedures. And they were exactly right. Anytime you deal with chemicals, you should be wearing eye protection, you should be wearing a mask, you should have uh, rubber gloves on, chemical resistant gloves that go above the elbow. Uh, and it's great to have like a bib or some pants, rubberized pants, etc. cetera. Uh, anything that you can do, the more equipment, the more safety equipment, PPE, the better. Uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff. Uh, one of our other problems was when we were mixing the chemicals was containment. We didn't have a containment system. Now our containment system, thanks to one of the emails that you guys sent us, was uh, the aluminum turkey uh, roast and bacon uh, pot things that you can get from Walmart. They're aluminum and they're big enough to put a turkey in. And because they're big enough to put a damn turkey in, they're big enough to put your beaker of your chemicals and the chemicals that you're pouring into that beaker inside the thing. The containment part comes as if your beaker or the chemical thing falls over within that pan, it doesn't go into the ground, right? It just stays in that pan. You can dispose of it properly that way. So thank you very much for that suggestion. We, are, we have immediately utilized that and have turkey roast in pans now for containment, right? And also, we have absolutely forbidden uh, the touching of chemicals or anything until all that safety equipment is in place and on your body. So thanks to you guys that, that took the time uh, to message us about it, uh, we learned a couple of really valuable lessons and we are improving our game thanks to you. Um, for you guys that noticed that, that didn't send us a comment, right? Maybe next time you should send us a comment uh, because if you're not part of the solution, you're probably part of the problem, right? Uh, we don't mind uh, being told that we're doing things wrong. In fact, that's what these videos are all about, right? They're all about that. 
Uh, we know that people are going to make fun of us for uh, messing stuff up. We know that already. But uh, the payoff is the people that aren't assholes will write in and tell us solutions to our problems, right? That they won't automatically uh, just make fun of us and then let it go, right? Uh, the people that we like to hear from are the people that help us with our problems. And we heard from, you know, like I said, about 10 of you guys. And you guys have really helped us improve our business. Thanks so much for that. We really appreciate it. Uh, one of the comments that I got was, and I need to clear this up, I feel, uh, was, oh my God, I can't believe how much uh, chemical you're using on, you know, that one acre property in that, uh, you know, 20 gallon tank. It's crazy. That's crazy that you use that much chemical. That thing should do two acres uh, with that kind of amount of chemicals. And you know what? You're right. Uh, that amount of chemicals in a 20 gallon tank should go uh, for two acres, right? And that's what we did. Just because we filled it up on that one acre property didn't mean that we kept going over the same one acre until it ran out of chemicals. We ran over it at five miles an hour. Uh, it's been calibrated. We know that our calibration's correct because it's a brand new Z sprayer. And even our old one just came out of the shop already calibrated. It just came out. They just calibrated it. So we know that they're, that they're good to go. The point that I'm trying to make is, is don't assume <laughs> things. Uh, ask us first, like how much, how much are you treating with that 20 gallon tank? And it comes out to about two acres, right? Which is exactly on point with what everybody else in our industry, as far as weed control is doing here. Uh, it's what our mentor is doing. Uh, we did ask our dealership, and he said, yeah, that's what everybody's using. We asked our chemical guy because we wanted to make sure, right? Sometimes people get locked into, they think something's the right way, and they've done it for so many years, and they figure that's the way it is. And then years later, it turns out, oh, my God, I've been doing it wrong all these years. Somebody's able to get through to their thick skulls. We're an open book. Uh, we're a sponge at this point, especially with the weed control thing. But we have found that it's better to seek out multiple <laughs> multiple opinions and advices from different uh, factions than it is to go with one person because that one person may be locked into a bad habit. You never know. Point I'm trying to make is we are, we are spraying the correct amount of chemicals uh, on these lawns as per the label and as per the professionals in the industry in Oklahoma, right? I don't know. Your laws may be different where you're at, but in Oklahoma, the standard's the standard, and that's what it's going for here, and that's what the uh, manual also recommends. So really, uh, I did want to say, please feel free, instead of sending me an email, because I don't get those sometimes for a couple of days, but if you put a comment on our video saying, hey, man, you're really screwing this up, and you need to stop doing that immediately, that's going to get to us a lot faster. And not only am I going to see it, but everybody in the Acme Moen and Lawn Care group is going to see it, right? They're all going to read it, and they're going to learn from that, right? Whereas if I get it and I forget to mention it to them, maybe not. This time I mentioned every comment to them. I pointed it out to them. And besides being a little bit embarrassed, right, which it's a normal thing, you'd be a, bit, a little bit embarrassed if you're doing something wrong and you showed it to everybody in the world, right? You put it out there. But it's like I told them, if we didn't show them that, you guys would have kept doing it this way, right? You guys would have kept doing it the wrong way. Thank God we showed it to them and people came in with their comments and messages uh, of support and saying, hey man, you know, we're behind you, we're glad you're making uh, more money this year, but you're doing this wrong and you need to start doing it right because what you're doing is dangerous and it's not good for the planet. So thank you so much for you guys that reached out, that took the time to track us down. It wasn't that hard. Our contact information is in every video that we put out, and it's just a click. You could have just emailed me, uh, but that's fine. Thank you for the guys that did message us because now we're doing things right. So we have all the safety equipment in place that we need. We got the new masks, we got the gloves, we got the eye protection. Uh, I'm still looking for a, like a bib or uh, an apron or a pair of like <laughs> Uh, pants, like rubberized pants that they can wear. It's the more safety, the better. Of course, that's going to be impractical in the summer heat when we're uh, out there with granules in the middle of the summer heat, putting those things down at 90 plus degree, 100 degree weather. Rubber pants may not be the best idea in that situation. We're going to have to play it day by day, but the point that I'm trying to make is we're going to be as safe as we possibly can from now on. 
and it's thanks to your comments uh, that got us there. So the channel's working as intended. Uh, we're putting out videos and you guys are commenting on it. Uh, maybe not necessarily in the comments section. You feel free. Uh, we don't mind being embarrassed. Like I said, we don't mind like getting a little red faced over stuff. Like, man, we were actually, we thought we were doing things right, but we weren't. And uh, now we are, thanks to you. All right, I'm gonna stop beating that dead horse. Uh, things coming up. Uh, JT is, and Lax have a couple of really big mulch jobs that we haven't been able to get to because it's been so wet around here. I don't know what the weather has been like in your neck of the woods, but here it's just been terrible. In fact, it's drizzling today. It rained all last night, the whole night. And then this morning it's drizzling and the water, the, the water in the, uh, on the lawns, are, it's just soaking, man. It's like, it's terrible. You walk on your lawn and it's like you're walking on a sponge. That's how much rain we've gotten. It's an unprecedented amount of rain. Uh, that we've gotten in the month of March here. And that's gonna help us out coming up for our cutting season uh, in April because that's right around the corner, guys. I'm so excited about getting out there and cutting. Uh, it looks like Peyton and I are gonna be on a, on a crew together until we can find uh, his, my replacement, basically. I'll be the helper. Uh, Peyton's gonna be the crew chief and we're gonna teach him, I'm gonna teach him how to make a yard uh, look beautiful uh, from the first step to the last step, from the from the uh, edging and the trimming to the mowing uh, to the suggesting uh, services to people if they happen to come out. Always have a, a suggestion for them. Hey, I noticed your bushes were getting a little unruly there. Would you like me to just touch those up a little bit? Take a couple minutes and this is how much we'll charge you. And normally if you make a suggestion uh, to an improvement of the property, they'll go for it. Uh, that's. It's just uh, extra money in your pocket and you're already there, so you may as well do it. All right, so it's Friday. I'm gonna let you get back to your lives, but I did wanna make a video and say thank you very much to you people uh, that took the time to correct our mistakes. Uh, we're fixing them. That's all we can do. So thanks again. Hey, uh, a couple more videos coming out this weekend. Stand by. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next week.